Just being outside. That's it, being outside. Especially when there's nobody else around and we're out on the water and it's um, just being in nature, seeing everything that's happening and feeling everything that's happening around us. We're on the Powell Forest Canoe Route here in, uh, in TFL 39 Block 1. And what we're, what we're looking at today are the upgrades with cedar that we're doing to the, uh, the canoe route and the portage. It's just, it's gorgeous. Like, it's a beautiful place, not too many bugs, um, really friendly people, great paddling. And that's why people travel from all over the world to come here and do this. It's kind of a full body workout, you know, you're getting to carry heavy things on your back and on your head and it really makes the physical challenges that much more doable when you have a nice solid group of people and you're all suffering together. <laughs> We're bonded through pain. <laughs> what you're going to see is you're going to see boardwalks, you're going to see docks, you're going to see these nice little canoe rests. and. Uh, and that was one big part of the upgrades this year was changing all the all the canoe rests over from the old guard and it was all starting to fall apart to the what we see here today which is all the new stuff here uh, just replacing a lot of the decks as you can see here this is one it's been here for a long time and these things have been here for like 40 years some of them It has been really wonderful to have all of the infrastructure provided uh, because, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to do the portages if it hadn't been for all of the different, you know, portage structures along the way. The portage route is kind of neat because it, it connects a whole bunch of little lakes. There's a couple of big lakes on either end and it's a nice five-day trip to go around. And, uh, and what you see on both sides through the valley is you, is you see the second growth timber that's coming up. It's Douglas fir, cedar, hemlock mixed in. It's actually really nice second growth. It's definitely, it's different if you've never seen a cup lock, but here you can tell that there's actually intention put into the logging because there's like, there's cup locks that are made, but then there's left pieces to avoid erosion. You know, there's all of this stuff where you have regrowth happening right next to fresh cup blocks. And, and you can tell it's, it's a management piece that has had a lot of forethought. I think it's important that, that people do see forestry, you know, because it happens. It's, it's part of BC, so. Like being able to get out into this amount of wilderness as easily as we have, that's been really wonderful. It's also nice to know that there's, should something go wrong, there's access everywhere. That's kind of a nice peace of mind. It's been really affordable too compared to a lot of, you know, wilderness trips as well. So that's been good too. Yeah, lots of people coming through. It, uh, you don't know that until you're up here, how many people are actually using it. It's very interesting. And I've talked to people downtown and they say, yeah, I've been on it seven times now and we've taken our family around and then they go around with the grandkids. So it's, it's been around that long. You know, I was going to put it on Facebook. Take people, look, this, this is my uh, office. Where's yours today? You know? Yeah. So it's an incredible uh, opportunity to be out here, you know, with uh, the crew and, uh, and it's, you leave a legacy, eh? It's nice.